Hey friend, this is Brandon here from This Is Tech Today and if you didn't notice, I'm not in my studio right now. I'm in the beautiful Huntington Beach. So I'm out here because Autel Robotics sent out to me their drone, the Evo, and they also sponsored this video. So thank you, Autel. Something that's really cool is that there are no flight restrictions with this drone. That doesn't mean that you should go crazy with it, but one thing you may have noticed with other drones is that there are flight restrictions, but there's no rhyme or reason. It doesn't actually adhere to the actual boundaries of flight restriction. That can create a lot of issues for you if you're trying to film something. And if you're the type that's concerned about your privacy, they don't track your flight logs. They're a US-based company, if that matters to you. Now let's talk about the actual drone itself. The batteries themselves, they last up to 30 minutes. They've lasted me about 20 or 25 minutes when I've been flying them, which is really good. And the thing can go up to 4.3 miles, which is nuts. You can't even see anything at that point. So I don't know, I get a little bit worried about something like that. So maybe just keep it in sight. Now, of course, with a drone like this, you wanna make sure that it is safe and that it has obstacle avoidance. And there's sensors all around the drone itself, except for the sides. They can help with crash avoidance, but of course, make sure that you're paying attention to your left and right side. Now for the camera itself, it does have a three axis gimbal which allows it to get those really smooth cinematic shots that are just oh so nice and one thing that really stands out about this drone in particular is that it has 4k at 60 frames per second there are a lot of DSLR cameras that don't even have that of course if you want to you can shoot at 120 frames per second at 1080 or 240 frames per second at 720p that's just kind of nuts the camera itself has a 94 degree field of view so you can capture a lot and it supports high quality video codecs like h264 and h265 and of course what would a drone be without the ability to take photos. So you can shoot in JPEG or RAW with that 12 megapixel camera. So one thing that's really cool about this is that Autel is focusing on the creator, the filmmaker, the photographer. And they're so confident in the quality of their camera that they actually put their Autel Evo next to a red camera and match the footage. <sighs> Man, these, uh, these vlogging cameras are heavy. Now speaking of the camera, you can actually control it easily with the controller. That controller has a 3.3 inch 720p OLED display on it. And while I was filming this, I realized that I forgot my cable. I couldn't hook up my phone to it. But that's not a big deal because of that screen. I was able to control the drone just fine. Now, of course, it is totally way easier and nicer to hook it up to your phone. And you have all that touch control to it. But there are a lot of dials and buttons on the controller itself that let you to control different settings. And it also lets you charge your phone. You can control a lot of different things with the camera. You can control different picture profiles, different themes or LUTs. And there's even manual and auto ISO exposure. And then you can control things like the shutter speed. You always want to have your shutter speed twice the rate or close to that of the frames per second. That allows you get that really cinematic look. All right, we're in a park now and this is dangerously close. Don't get this close to a drone. This is, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Now one thing that's really important is exposure and you have the ability to tell when something is overexposed in the app. It has a zebra lines, little kind of white and black lines that move across the image to indicate when something is overexposed. And one way to kind of counter that is with an ND filter. So they did send out these Polar Pro ones to me and it's really neat because the cap on the lens, it just unscrews and you screw on another one. It's super simple. Now when I was flying this thing around, the one thing that is so crazy about it is the ludicrous speed. It goes up to 45 miles per hour and this thing freaking flies. It is so much fun. I actually tried doing a few risky things like flying through the little pillars of the dock here and uh, my heart was racing. That's probably the craziest thing I've ever done with a drone. Now if you're fairly new to drones there is a beginner mode to make it a little bit easier for you. There's a precision mode so it makes it go really slow so you can make sure you get your shot just right and then there's that awesome ludicrous mode. Now for the gimbal settings there are two different options. There's the smooth one which allows you to get those cinematic shots an FPV mode, which allows you to feel like you're actually flying with it. Now, if you've ever seen videos from someone like Johnny FPV, it is insane. You should go check that out. One of the most unreal shots you could ever see with a drone. But this allows you to get something similar to that. It locks down the gimbal so it actually will tilt with you like this. Now, some things that really stand out to me about Autel is that they're a US-based company. They're actually from Seattle and they have support seven days a week. That makes them super accessible. And one thing that really stands out is how many firmware updates they've had. They're continually updating the drone so it improves all the time. Because of that, they're really listening to their audience and they're able to just improve it. You're able to contact them and improve the drone itself, which means you have a higher return on your investment just by speaking your mind. So the Altel Evo sells for about a grand, but they do have a rugged package. Now that package gives you three different batteries, extra propellers, a whole water resistant case. It's just awesome. It's a great value for only $200 more. As a whole, this is the most fun I've ever had flying a drone. This thing is super fast. It's super easy to use. And if you want to pick up the drone for yourself, there are links down below in the description. So what do you think about the shots? Leave a comment down below and join the This Is Tech Today community Discord chat. Thanks again for watching This Is Tech Today where we talk about the intersection of technology
technology in our everyday lives, in business, and all things creative. Until next time.